important. I'm not going to take any excuse to say, oh, we're harming national security. You know, how many times have we heard that argument throughout this entire investigation? We're just not going to take this nonsense of every time we peel something back, every time we need information, we get ignored, we get stalled, we get stonewalled. That was just a few moments ago on our show. House Intel Chair Devin Nunes vowing to take action as requests for information are repeatedly ignored, as he says, by the DOJ. So what do House Republican leaders think of this accused stonewalling toward their colleagues? Let's ask House Majority Whip Steve, Cal Steve Scalise. Majority, thank you very much uh, for being here. Really, really appreciate Morning. it. Uh, you heard what your colleague Morning. had to say about stonewalling. Uh, is that the position of the uh, of the majority as well? I mean, is that is that what leadership's take on obstruction and stonewalling from the DOJ? Well, I strongly support the work that Chairman Nunes and his entire committee have been doing to uncover the truth and to hold the Department of Justice accountable. Uh, I, I have deeper and deeper concerns the more I see uh, some of this, not only the stonewalling, but what's been in some of these memos. Uh, you know, we've seen from what we're trying to get the scope memo, uh, but we're also been trying to get a lot of other information from the Department of Justice about this investigation. And everything that we uncover raises even deeper concerns about the direction. And as the uh, the federal judge just said the other day, uh, you know, wh where are they going with this thing? Is this thing turning yeah. into a witch hunt? I think they're serious questions. Why has the DOJ been um, so slow at responding to your request. You think about Devin Nunes. They have the clearances they need to see much of what is in these documents. Why have they been so slow? Maybe because some of the things that have been coming out shine a really bad light on the Mueller investigation and a lot of the things surrounding uh, what Comey uh, has done. I mean, Comey just recently said that, uh, you know, initially they were saying that uh, that Flynn was lying in some of these interviews. Now uh, some of the uh, some of the things that have come out said that uh, Comey and others didn't think Flynn was lying. So, uh, you know, I think they need to be held accountable, and I think that the information that's been coming out mm -hmm. uh, really raises a lot of questions about what they were doing behind closed doors <laughs> under all of these veils of secrecy, saying, oh, you can't see this document, you can't see that document. And then we find some of these documents, and it really shines a negative light on the work of this entire team over there with this investigation. Well, Congressman, these investigations uh, may be a big issue in the midterms, obviously, but so will the economy, the tax cuts that you helped shepherd through. And I wonder, when you've got these primaries coming, some big ones in big states on Tuesday, Ohio, North Carolina, West Virginia, Indiana, uh, what's your sense? We've heard so much about this so-called blue wave. Uh, Democrats have history on their side. Uh, they believe that uh, they're going to take back the House. Uh, the president was in Battleground, Ohio, yesterday talking up the tax cuts. What say you about where the Republican Party is right now? Well, we've got the economy on our side, but we know that there is a, a whatever you want to call it, uh, there is a, a lot of intensity on the Democrat side, you know, and so they're going to be showing up to vote, but our folks are going to be showing up to vote, too. I think if you see what President Trump is doing, going around the country, highlighting the fact that the work we've done, especially this Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, has done a tremendous job at rebuilding our middle class, giving hardworking taxpayers more of their hard-earned money. You got Nancy Pelosi out there <clears throat> saying not only will she run for speaker again if they get the majority, but she wants to undo the tax cuts. She wants to take away the money out of the pocket of those middle-class families that are finally seeing some benefit uh, from what's happening with the economy. She wants to unravel that. Uh, we can't let that happen. We need to keep highlighting not only how important these jobs uh, and tax cuts have been to creating jobs and giving people more of their money, uh, but how Nancy Pelosi wants to take that away if she's able to get the House and become Speaker again. Well, and uh, some of Nancy Pelosi's colleagues would, would uh, like to move toward impeachment as well. So is talking about national issues and, and that reality, if the Dems win the House, part of the strategy to motivate people as well? I think it's very important to show the country just what's at stake this November. Clearly, as you've pointed out, uh, the radical left wants to move towards impeachment. Uh, they want to reverse the, the things that we've done to get our economy moving again. And they're seeing what a vibrant economy looks like. Just Friday, uh, we had new numbers released that show that we have the lowest unemployment in America in almost 20 years. You know, is that really the kind of success we want to reverse? So I'm glad that President Trump is out there talking about this. We worked very hard with President Trump 
to get this economy moving again after eight years of Barack Obama wrecking the economy with higher taxes, with mandates like Obamacare and other things like Dodd-Frank. Uh, so let's get our economy moving again. Yeah. Uh, getting people back to work is the best antidote uh, to what the Democrats are trying to push. Well, well, no agenda. Well, it's just you're, reversing just, the success. I was going to say, you're back to work. You've been such an inspiration to our show and to uh, people all around the country surviving that shooting on the baseball field almost a year ago. We hear that your last operations were just two weeks ago. Is that right? That's right. I had my final surgery tied to putting everything back together about two weeks ago, and it was a big success. So uh, I, uh, I know we're, we're, we're moving in the right direction, but good to be back at work. All right. Well, it's great, great to have to you, Congressman. Great to see you this All morning. Right. See you soon. Great being Thank back you, with you. Appreciate Thanks. it. All right. President Trump says our border is a mess after the caravan of migrants crosses into the U.S. Now he's threatening to shut down the government if this wall does not get built. Should it get to that point? We're going to debate next. And a World War II vet finally gets his diploma nearly seven decades later. Wow.